Five concerns over the Ebola virus triggering a complaint from one Iowa parent. Yeah, the mother of a trainer high school student is worried about another student's plan to go on a mission trip trip to Africa. And KTV News Watch 7's Nicole Goodrich is tracking this developing story. She joins us live from Newsplex. Adrian Melissa, the student is traveling to Uganda, which is not affected by the current Ebola outbreak in West Africa. A statement released by Trainer School District says that student, that student will be self isolating for 21 days after returning from a mission trip. The woman behind the complaint is happy, but still wants a policy for the future. Trainer Iowa may be far from the Ebola outbreak in West Africa, but now it's on the front lines for the growing concern over the virus. My daughter came home from school and she told me that a family was planning on going on a mission trip and that her classmate would be uh, absent from school for a couple of weeks and they were going to Africa. Tracy Comstock filed a complaint with the district once she heard the student would be back in class the day after getting home, asking that the student be kept from school for three weeks. Is it probable that the family will contract a contagious disease? We don't know that, but we know that there's risk in regard to Africa, and I think it's too great of a risk right now. Currently, Uganda has not been impacted by the Ebola outbreak in West Africa, but as of October 9th, the World Health Organization reports one case of another disease similar, the Marburg virus. Uganda shares its western border with the Democratic Republic of Congo, where the virus is named after the Ebola River and where currently the CDC says there are more than 60 cases of the virus right now. In response to Comstock's complaint, Trainer Schools released a statement saying in part, We understand the Iowa Department of Public Health and CDC are not discouraging travel to this portion of Africa, and our student is considered low risk for contracting the virus. The student's family is planning to voluntarily self-isolate their child upon return from the mission trip. The voluntary self-isolation will last for 21 days. Again, that student involved is not planning on traveling to any of the Ebola-affected nations there. Tracy Comstock tells me she plans to ask the school board to look into a plan, policy, and protocol for the future. Reporting live in the Newsplex, Nicole Goodrich, KETV Newswatch 7.